and the scene here in this perfect weather for polo so the umpire peter wright just uh, having a chat to chris mckenzie probably asking him if he's got any bruises from that fall but it's not affecting the way he's playing because he had a couple of very strong plays in that fifth chucker so Jeff Fisher, John Fisher, Jeff Hall from Texas, USA. Mike Azaro also from Texas. It's a big state, lots of good polo players. Cowboy polo is played down there as well as this regular game. And a great tradition of horsemanship. Produced a lot of good players. John Paul Clark and will take the Free hit from the centre, and it hits a pony, bounces off Campson's pony, picked up again by Clark, and now he's just out in his own here. He's got a round on the stick side. He'll try and run it into goal. Mike Azara never gives up. He comes in and plays the backhand, gets the USA out of a bit of trouble. The backhand by Campson is covered by Chris McKenzie. McKenzie looks to see where Donoso is, knows he's there, but oh, the bell bounces off. Uh, Hall's pony and he goes to take it forward he's hooked out of it though but picked up now by Mason Rowe and Rowe puts a big hit in but he's put too much ankle on that one and it goes out to the left so John Fisher will hit in now Hong Kong with a one goal lead not enough can't really rely on taking a game out in the last chucker if you've only got a goal up front. So they'll come try and come back up this half pretty quickly. They need to score and put uh, USA on the back foot. And it's a pass there for, to John Paul Clark. And he takes it up over the halfway line. And uh, I think it's put, it's bounced over the sideline. Not sure whether he intended to do that. He may have, may have thought that um, getting into the attacking half and being able to regroup was a better idea than giving the possession away they just don't want them to score a goal at all and they'd like to get the, another one themselves and this is the chance no not quite uh, i thought it was going to come in towards goal but it doesn't it's going to be covered there by mike azaro azaro's backhand shot takes it up along the boards picked up there by uh, um, eventually by clarken clarken brings it across center field jeff hall comes to bring it Across, Campson gets the shot, no. Rowe is there, but so is Donoso. Donoso gives him a big ride off, and he'll go for the backhand. No, no, it's a, eventually um, Rowe. Back there by John Fisher. Fisher shots up into centre field. Jeff Hall looks over his shoulder, sees John Paul Clark and coming. So he'll play the defensive backhand. He'll bounce it over the boards. And so Hong Kong won't be too unhappy about that. They're still in the attacking half. They've still got a goal up their sleeve. And uh, USA is not able to keep that attack going so who gets it out of this lineup will be important it's going to be John Paul Clark and backhand shot on oh, look at Donoso on the end of that but the pony gets in the way kicks it but John Fisher comes through he plays it up towards goal this is looking pretty good if this has got the legs this could be another one for Hong Kong yes it does beautifully Judge G that looked like a putt to win the US Open he had the length he had the speed and he certainly had the direction so the last two goals to John Fisher because he was uh, he scored the winning goal I think in the snow polo World Cup this could be the winning goal of the semi-final of the Super Nations Cup so 7-5 the score now the pressure's on USA they've got three and a half minutes half a chucker to go to get two goals to get even in this game and they can't really afford to let Hong Kong score on the way through it goes high in the air picked up by uh, Fisher, Fisher shot, dropped down in front of Donoso, Donoso tucks it forward, there's another one to Hong Kong, and they are really pushing out now, real pressure on USA, so eight goals to five, all of a sudden a game that seesaw with only a goal, the difference for five chuckers, suddenly Hong Kong have come out all guns blazing in this sixth, three goals a big margin to make up now three minutes ten seconds left in the chucker in goes uh, there's the replay there you saw of um, 
And that lovely goal from Donoso. So now back in play we come now. And uh, running in again is Donoso down in front of goal. In goes Jeff Hall, plays the saving backhand. John Fisher's got it covered though. He plays a backhand, hits a pony. No goes to the left of the post. So. And uh, it remains eight goals to five. But certainly Hong Kong doing all the attacking in this last chucker. They seem to be able to get possession out of this ruck and just run it down. So what can Mike Azaro do to change the flow of play here for the United States? He goes across the field this time. Looks to find Jeff Hall. He gets a great turn out of the pony there. Now he unloads straight down the centre line. On the end of this one is Mason Rowe. Can this be another goal for the United States? Rowe's in there. He's got the ball. He'll put it through the goal. And that's eight goals to six now. So just suddenly a little chink little corner of light opens up for the USA two goals that's possible three goals was difficult so Mason Rowe puts the ball through the goal there you just see him lean out lovely control of the ball and didn't try and hit it too hard made sure that what that scores on the board out on the Hong Kong side it comes John Fisher rolls the ball out under the pony's tail in comes Camps and Camps and shot is up to John Paul Clark and who gets possession of it. This ball's just bouncing a little in some of these divots. Clark and doesn't get the clean shot in and is turned around there by Azaro. Azaro shot up to Camps and in comes the umpires because they've blown the whistle. So let's see what. Uh, So it looks like a penalty is going to go to USA. Not sure what that run was for. But um, obviously the umpire's in agreement. So when I said eight goals to five might have been a safe margin, all of a sudden it's eight six. There's a minute and a half to go, and the USA have a massive chance to pull this back to what we're used to in this game, and that's just a goal the difference. Eight goals to six the score at the moment. So it's on the 30-yard line, almost impossible to stop. These free hits, the defending side has to go back behind the goals. They can't come out. And so Mike Azaro, as said, he's been playing in the top grade Apollo for a long time. And He'll just walk in now, plays the ball straight and true and puts it through. Eight goals to six the score. So eight goals to seven the score now. So with a minute 20 to go, there's just a goal in it. So Hong Kong now can't afford to let uh, USA get possession early now out of this ruck. Like I said, three goals is never... You never agree. And here's USA with possession once again. This man, Mike Azaro, he's done a power of work in this game. Now he suddenly seemed to have got his second gear in this last chucker. Up there to Jeff Hall. Hall brings the ball in towards goal. He'll dribble it, he'll dribble it, he'll run it forward. It's all square. It's all square. Eight all with 45 seconds left in the chucker. Well, I said earlier I thought three goals might have been enough, but you can never, ever in this standard of polo think that um, because just a little bit of luck a little bit of bounce of the ball quick possession and this USA team has taken advantage of every little break they've got here so McKenzie with 20 seconds to go brings it down on the attack for the Hong Kong team puts it high in the air drops down in front of it and here comes Denoso he's hooked out of the play but it leaves it there for Jeff Fisher Fisher just taps the ball forward it's coming down towards goal there's uh, seven seconds left at the chucker where's it sitting on backhand there by a row, I think it was anyway. It's um, Jeff Hall's hooked out of it. Cut in there by, I think now they'll play the full 30 seconds here because uh, it's all square to win the last chucker. And here goes um, Mason Rowe, brings the ball down now towards go. And can he get it through? He's put it out to the right of center. Can he get the next shot? He's hooked out of it. Go oh, on, Chris Kempson, your life's on the line. He plays the ball forward and hits the pole. Turn the up there by Chris McKenzie. And so, uh, we've got two seconds left in this chunk, and there goes the siren, so it's all square. We're going to have to have a penalty shootout now. Eight goals each. Well, what a game, what a fantastic 
final chuck of that was. Three goals, Hong Kong got out to the lead and then USA just found an extra gear and were able to answer with three goals in a row. And then in the last 30 seconds, they got so close to pulling out the winning goal. But uh, so the shot hits the goal post and amazing finish to that final chunker. So now what will happen now is these players will come out and uh, just the match officials there conferring with the umpires about how this will be conducted. But I think what will happen is that each team member will get a shot from the 60 yard line. I think that's what will happen. And then if it's all square after playing from the 60 yard line, each player then they will then change it around the other team will go first but that then becomes sudden death so all eight players will have a go from 60 yards if it's all square after that then it becomes a sudden death hit out and uh, the first the first team to miss a goal will lose the game so well what a starter, what a game to start this playoff for the Super Nations Cup 2012. And you see John Paul Clark has come out on a horse he thinks is good to hit off. Chris McKenzie. Great saving backhand of his when it bounced off the post, got him out of trouble at the end. John Paul Clark and just make sure the pony settle down. Horses in the lines, frantic. Instructions to grooms about which horse they want to bring out to make the play. Well, not a person has moved here. big responsibility on their shoulders because if the ball's high in the air they've got to make sure they don't make a mistake just in the replay there you saw that's Campson's shot that hit the post in came McKenzie to play the back and Campson leans out he does nearly got it right and it just was on the wrong side of the post still sitting there so McKenzie has to take the backhand and pushes it out of harm's way it was picked up by Azaro but there was only a second left in the chucker So the reason we have a shootout here at the uh, at, at this cup is because if we played an extra chucker, since all the horses provided for this game are provided by the Metropolitan Polo Club here in Tianjin, then um, the pressure on horses is quite uh, quite important. Each player uh, has eight horses at his disposal for each game, so we've already had 64 horses involved in this game and so for another eight horses because they really if they're going to play a final sudden death chucker which is the other alternative then they would have to come out on fresh horses because tired horses are just uh, uh, too much to ask of them so um, the players not the uh, organizers 
that could run them short of horses coming up to the finals so to make the decision we'll have a shootout just as we do in in soccer and in some of the um, rugby games at times they will have a a gold penalty Jeff Fisher's elated swing of the stick there after he scored. And then that was John Paul Clark and coming in there, that was early in the game. I think it was about the second chuck he saw Mike Azaro's party leaping. And this is where Rowe came around and pushed the ball under the pony's neck. 